Well, EA are going absolutely ham with this new footballers promo. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the play to ball objectives, where you can not only unlock an 87 footballers Dan Juma, a super loans team pack, which I'm not too sure what that's about, but within the objectives, you've also got a Behebrez, is that how you pronounce it, along with a Megidi. I mean, free 87 rated footballer cards, that's quite cool. Now, with this, these are already objectives, so I guess we're yet to know if we can get these footballer cards and we'll eventually be able to upgrade them with more objectives, but I mean, as of right now, I don't think so. It looks like we are just playing for the 87 Danjuma. Today, we're going to go over all of these objectives and uh, give you guys my tips, tricks, how it works, etc. And as well, I do want to mention, I know we always get lots of questions. How long is this objective out for? As you can see, a little time. 20 days 22 hours so essentially 21 days aka i say three weeks almost three weeks basically three weeks right without further ado let's get into it first of all you've got player match in any foot game mode easy player match in any foot game mode squad battles rivals online draft offline draft uh friendlies whatever the hell you want then you will get a draft token pack with this draft token pack, you've then got play a match in offline or online draft, self-explanatory. Would like to mention playing a match means you have to either complete the match or if you're doing it online, your opponent needs to quit. You cannot go into a game and kick it out and quit yourself. That will not count as a match played. Uh, play four matches, exact same. Play eight matches, the exact same. Remember once again to play these matches, you cannot quit yourself. You have to play the full match or have your opponent back out if it is an online like a rage quit or something. You've then got win an online win a match in an offline or an online draft win two matches in an offline or online win four matches in an offline or an online and that seems it for the draft objectives which is quite nice i like the offline or online um option because in the past when we had previous draft objectives some of them were online uh some of them were offline but to get all of the objectives done you had to get online now with this one you only need to win four so you could literally just do an offline beginner uh squat uh, i was gonna say squat battle beginner offline draft if you want win each game 20 nil and you're good the only issue is you have to play eight matches so even if you win four i assume maybe someone's up here no so it is actually quite weird i was gonna say maybe these ones here would also be our uh, foot draft ones but no that's quite weird isn't it so you have to win four offline or online draft matches but you have to play eight which is quite weird. So you could either do an offline match where you obviously just get four wins, put it on beginner, and then you'll get the four wins done. But then you'll still have four matches to play. You could jam the controller in an online draft, give your opponent a win and just put your controller down, rubber band or whatever. That's, that's up to you to decide. Now, after that one, you've got player match in squad battles on at least semi-pro or division rivals, self-explanatory, play two matches in squad battles on at least semi-pro or division rivals, uh, play four matches, and then we've got play six matches uh, in squad battles on at least semi-pro difficulty whilst having at least three players from the MBS Pro League, which is the Saudi Arabian League, aka in brackets SAU1. I know that might be some confusion. The MBS League is the Saudi League. Uh, we've also got play six matches. Uh, in squad battles on at least semi-pro or rivals having at least three players from Ireland. And then last not but not, not least, you've got assists with footballers Aidan McGandy and score with footballers Hatan Bahibri during four wins in squad battles on at least semi-pro or division rivals. And by completing all of them, you will unlock an 87 Dan Juma. Now, for how to do these objectives, if you will, um, it is kind of just like putting two and two together. So but these are the draft ones are kind of separate to the squad battles ones, and it may be overwhelming at first. So you, it is just smarter to like split it up you could start off with the hard foot draft ones play a match in any game mode happy days i play a match in online offline draft whatever get the, the draft ones done right get all of these out of the way get the four wins up to you if you want to do that in offline or online it can kind of depend on your skill level then you want to focus with the squad battles now you wouldn't want to play a match in squad battles and then play two matches play four matches and then start doing these you may as well double up and do these first play six matches in squad battles on at least semi pro with at least three Ireland players and he's also at least three Saudi League players so what would be very smart is if we were to get three Saudi League players and three Irish players in your squad at the same time and then you can go into the squad battles and you'll get the play four play two and play a match and squad battles done at the same time after you unlock McGeady all you'll be left to do is to assist with that McGeady and score with the footballers 
uh, Bahibri during free for four wins in squad battles. So what we're going to do is I will go ahead and give you guys an example and a little bit of a squad battles tip. Now we need free Irish players and we need free Saudi League players. So for Ireland, it is under R because it's Republic of Ireland. Now you can search your club and see the Irish players you've already got. I've got a Doyle, for example. I can get a Collins in there and I could get a Bonham in there. Why not, right? We'll put him in there. We'll get Collins there and we'll get Doyle up top. Now all we need is free Saudi League players so same thing we will search our club for the Saudi League players if we hit on there, there it is right here Saudi League happy days once again choose free Saudi League players to get in you may have to buy some players on the market um, but you can just get them in a squad so you'll have free Saudi players in your squad Saudi League players that is and you'll also have free Irish players in your squad now what you want to do is head on over to squad battles and we'll try keep this quick as you guys know with squad battles you get given four different teams every single time often you can get two maybe three sometimes four if you're really unlucky pretty good teams we've got an 89 with 33 chem 90 with 27 far pretty good teams but a 77 rated with six chemistry is more than beatable therefore we want to go ahead choose the worst team select semi-pro difficulty and you can play that now every 20 minutes or so and i will circle it you have the option to update your opponents you can do that by pressing square on the playstation or x on the xbox and it will give you the next set of four teams as you can see here with been given free tough teams but we've got a 64 rated with zero chemistry once again we can go ahead and choose semi-pro now that option to update opponents is no longer there but in roughly 10 to 15 minutes it will be there again so it is a constant cycle of playing the worst team on semi-pro refresh play the worst team semi-pro refresh I know semi pro is not that high of a difficulty um, and you'll be able to play 87 88 rated squads if you're good enough completely fine but if you do just keep playing the lower rated team you can win 10 11 nil chuck a film on and it is so much more relaxing so much easier to break down and i know for the final objective which is like score or assist with mcgeady and then score with the saudi arabian league player um then obviously if you're winning 10 11 nil that will be a whole lot easier than coming up against like van dykes cap de Vila's, really really good players like that so once again it's a matter of two birds with one stone or several birds with one stone even all right so once again the foot draft offline or online that's quite self-explanatory for these player match and squad battles play two matches in squad battles and play four matches in squad battles like you just have to ignore these i've just put it there to make it more confusing just ignore them because obviously if you're playing six matches you'll get them done as well so you want to play the six matches with at least three of the saudi league players which we've gone over and three players from ireland i once again i just search players in in my club you guys may have to buy some players from the transfer market but it'll be very very cheap maybe some irish and saudi league players will be a little bit more pricey but trust me like they don't have to be very good because as i said if you're playing it on semi-pro refreshing your squad battles you're good to go obviously after you unlock these two players you have to assist with aiden mcgeady and score with footballers hitan bahibri now this does not say and obviously during four wins so you have to go out for go for throughout the match and get that win as well now this does not like really clarify they don't like make it 100 percent certain if you have to assist with mcgeady to behebri and score with behebri or if you can assist with mcgeady to let's say a random player let's say Eto, for example and then score with behebri separately if it's not counting you might just want to play it safe and do mcgeady and, and try to assist that goal from mcgeady straight up to behebri kind of rhymes a little bit and have like a straight link up between them um that's just ea have failed to clarify that but let me know if you are stuck or need help with anything else it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out